Welcome back. Today we're going to start talking about a different area of our body, specifically our rib cage. We hear a lot about rib pain and normally when we think about ribs is when we hear the term or my rib is out or my rib got dislocated and what happens is you usually feel pain when you're breathing or coughing or sneezing and you'll feel it in a specific spot at one of your rib junctions where it attaches into your breastbone or sternum. So if you have rib cage, the first thing you want to do is get cleared with your doctor to make sure it's nothing more severe or serious. So you want to get that checked out before you have anyone poking and pushing on your ribs. Once that's been cleared that there's no underlying pathology or condition that's severe and needs emergency medical attention, you want to look at what are some of your other options. A lot of people are told that if you sprain a rib or hurt it somehow that just to let it heal. Well, there are some other options. So we have 12 ribs typically. Sometimes people have one extra one, but for the most part, we have 12, rib, 12 ribs that form joints with our spine. They then wrap around our body and the first seven of them attach to our breastbone or sternum. And then three more down below that attach to cartilage that merges up with the breastbone. And then we have a couple more that are just floating ribs. So the ribs are held into position, not just by the joints and the cartilage, but by the muscles that are connecting the ribs to each other called your intercostal muscles. A lot of time, those muscles can be tensed and toned up just like any other part of your body or muscle in your body. So when you think about those knots in your, in your upper shoulders, your upper traps, or your low back is tight, well, guess what? That can happen in your rib muscles too. So a lot of times when I work with someone, I'll see how prominent their breastbone is. And I'll see, can they drop it in? Can it move? And is there movement within the individual ribs? A lot of times, because the muscles have learned how to guard and hold tight, they don't know how to relax. And so it makes your rib mobility that much worse. So when I talk to people and say, can you drop your, your sternum or breastbone in? If they can't, that's one signal that their muscles in between their ribs, the intercostal muscles, have learned to tighten and guard and they don't know how to let go. This can happen over time. So when we have stressors in our daily life, whether it's work or financial or relationships, family, emotional or mental stresses or even physical stresses, it kicks us into that fight or flight mode and our muscles tighten up. Over time, if we don't know how to let that go, the muscles stay tight and they learn to stay tight. And so then we lose the rib mobility and then we lose the ability to move and twist our trunk. It's not just our spine that helps us be able to bend and twist, but our ribs need to be able to move as well. So sometimes if you just go somewhere and get your spine worked on, but without getting the ribs worked on, you don't maximize the benefit that you can get if you return full mobility to your trunk muscles and bones. So, what I suggest with people is also looking at your rib position. We've talked a lot about getting the ribs down and in position. That can help get the ribs back to where they need to be, plus learning how to relax the muscles in between the ribs can help you correct some of those areas that feel tender or painful when you breathe. Just recently, I had a client who had pain in one of her ribs. All we did with her was have her relax and exhale in a different way and help her sense the muscles letting go and guess what her pain went away and she had been told that she couldn't lay on that side she's had months and months of issues but it was a matter of calming down her nervous system so the muscles let go the bones can go back into position and voila she was done so if you have questions about that or would like to learn more, please reach out to me, amy at powerinstitute.com. I'd love to hear from you and keep learning and we'll see you next week. Thanks, bye.